PBS Kids, where a kid can be a kid. Maya and Miguel is funded in part by a Ready to Learn, No Child Left Behind grant from the U.S. Department of Education through the Public Broadcasting Service. And by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. It's Maya and Miguel. What they will do next you never can tell. It's Maya and Miguel. Brother and sister and best friends as well. With each misadventure, they're put to the test. Working together is what they do best. Helping their family and friends, that's the start. They make a great team as they each do their part. It's a once-in-a-lifetime cinematic event. Yeah, it's the sequel to the Space Nebula Elf Prince. The prequel. Actually, it's the second film in the middle third of a plan to knowledge. No knowledge? Nine movies. They say we'll be watching these movies when we're in our 40s. Well, it sure sounds like you guys are excited. <laughs> this is the first show on opening day. Excited is not the word. More like absolutely over the moon, freaked out, foaming at the mouth. The special effects are so cutting edge. And it's got heroes and warriors and villains. It's a mega adventure. Well, I like the romance with Princess Lailani. Ew. Ew. It's so nice of you to bring us all the way downtown to see it, Poppy. Yeah, gracias, Poppy. Yeah, thanks, Mr. S. Oh, de nada. There's a museum exhibit I wanted to see down here anyways. But, um... Is Theo okay? He's just in the meditative trance of the Hafeistin King right now. I think he's coming out of it. I am prepared. Now, all I need is a large popcorn, a soda, and I'm there. So I'll be waiting right out here when the movie is over, okay? Right after I take a look at this exhibit on ancient cultures at the Natural History Museum across the street. Muy interesante. Great, Mr. Santos. Have fun. I'll just wait until you kids get in. Vamanos! Look at that line. Those poor people must not have any tickets. Okay, Maya. Give the man our tickets. Me? Don't be funny, Maya. Yeah, come on. What do you mean? Don't you have the tickets? Me? Remember last night you said you were staying up until midnight to call the ticket line? Oh, yeah. Now I remember. Um, I guess I fell asleep. Sorry, guys. If we hurry, maybe we can buy some tickets before they... <gasps> Sell out. No, this isn't happening. If we only had the technology to warp the time-space continuum and turn back the clock. ¿Qué pasó? Somebody forgot to get the tickets. Oh, ouch, I see. I'm sorry, Maggie. Uh, <laughs> ah, well, that's too bad. I guess we should just head back home, huh? What a shame. You kids were really looking forward to that movie. And I was really looking forward to my exhibit on ancient cultures. Puppy, um, SOS? We can go with you? 
You will? We will? We will? I mean, sure we will, Mr. S. Of course. It sounds great. That's terrific. <laughs> I'm never ever gonna leave this down, am I? Um, probably not. This is going to be great. I'll get the tickets. <laughs> I'm sure there are plenty still available. Maybe I hope so. Maybe we should have called 777 Boar before we came today. Oh, come on, you guys. I bet this will be really, really fun. And if you keep saying that, maybe you'll start to believe it. Okay, here we go. Five tickets. So, who wants to check out Rome? Greece? Egypt? <sighs> Come on, guys. This is exciting. We can get a little culture and become, well, um, cultured. I wonder what color dress Princess Leralani is wearing in the opening scene. <sighs> Why don't we do the buddy system? Miguel, you and Maya stick together. And Maggie, you and Theo. And if you need me, I'll be right over there at the Aztec exhibit, okay? Hmm. Okay. Sure. sure. This is really bad, Miguel. I've got to do something to make it up to them. But what? I don't know. For Theo, the elf prince has no knowledge. He is bigger than his birthday, Christmas, and the 4th of July rolled into one. And Maggie, well, she likes gift shops. Miguel, SOS! They gotta have a gift shop in this place, right? I heard that Android K4 gets turned into a man at the end. Maybe he's the one that the princess is destined to marry according to the ancient prophecy. I guess, I guess we'll, we'll never, never know. know. Ancient civilizations. I mean, what are we gonna do staring at dioramas of West Africa a gazillion years ago? West Africa? A lot of my mom's ancestors came from there. Hmm. Those warrior kings could be interesting. Yawn! Maggie, look! They have things on ancient China. Double yawn! Theo, you're not gonna leave me here, are you? I'm allergic to dust. What? Is everything in here all about ancient civilizations? Yeah, I think they're cool. Check it out! Colosseum salad bowl. Perfect for Caesars. <laughs> Don't they have any cute t-shirts? How about this? Archaeologists dig ancient culture? Yeesh, I'm trying to get them to forgive me, Miguel. Okay, just trying to help. Sorry, Maggie, but I need to find out what's going on down there. Oh, whatever, Theo. Go ahead if that's what you really want. Hey! were master storytellers. One of the best examples of this is the epic of San Tiata. Who the heck is San Tiata? Long ago, there lived an aging king. A son was born to him. They told him to name the child San Tiata, Lion King. In Italy, Hello, Sundiata. Lion King, hmm? you're so tiny, you don't look much like a lion or a king. Come to daddy, little Sundiata. Come to daddy. I'm going to be 40 before I even walk. Uh, 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 
He is four years old and he doesn't even sit up. How will he be king? All in good time, my husband. All in good time. Or you could always use some pillows. But the king's oldest son, the Karin, and the Karin's mother, Susuma, they had other plans. Go down, Karin, go. Grab the crown. <laughs> That is not yours. Now go and play. Ah, look at you, Sundiata. Just like your father. My king, I fear that your second wife, Sasuma, wants little Dankaren to be the next king. Don't worry. As long as I am here, I will protect you and little Sanjata. Oh. Then one day, when Son Theata was ten, the old king, his father, passed away. And Don Karin, with his wicked mother's help, pushed his way to the throne. Kanben, it's our kingdom now. This is not right. The king himself said that Sundiata should be the next king. They call him the Lion King. <laughs> Lion? <laughs> More like a little chicken. <laughs> Sundiata will be back, and then you'll be sorry. Theo! Theo! Do you think Maggie will like these? They also have a barrette shaped like a ziggurat. Not now, Maya. I'm busy. He's still angry at me. <gasps> oh! Oh! I seem to have kicked my nickel in that direction. I'd better go and get it. Since I'm here, I'll just peek in. It's probably not the... Chinese were great lovers of entertaining diversions, like theater. In this model, a Chinese audience watches one of the most popular plays of the time, The Romance of the Western Chamber. A long time ago, a young man named Chang came to study in the great city, hoping for a better life. Can't blame him for that. On his very first day in the city, as he was passing the great temple, he saw her. Her name was Tui Ying Ying, and he'd never see anything so beautiful in his life. I said, you'd never seen anything so beautiful in your life. Okay, okay. That's better. As she walked toward him, it seemed as if his whole life was contained in that moment. As she got closer and closer to him, she knew something big was happening, too. Something bigger than both of them. Ni hao. Ni hao. Ying Ying, what are you doing? You are the daughter of the former prime minister to the emperor. Look at that boy. He's dressed like a mere student. I'll have you know, everyone's wearing this jacket out in the western provinces. But Chang wasn't giving up so easily. He got a job taking out the garbage in the temple where Ying Ying's family lived, just so he could live in a room near to hers. Garbage? You really like her, okay? Maggie! Maggie! You think Theo will like this Colossus of Rhodes nightlight? Oh, that's a lot of garbage. Yeah, I guess she's still pretty mad about those movie tickets.
So, we're thinking it's between Stonehenge, the Jigsaw Puzzle, and the Fertile Crescent Rolls. Yeah, unless... Unless? Unless what? Well, I kind of like solid chocolate Easter Island statues. Oh, yeah! But they don't even stand up! Statues are supposed to be solid. Solid, Miguel. They need to have some weight. Stand the test of time. That's the whole thing with them. Don't you get it? The pieces in the Stonehenge puzzle don't stand up either. Yes, but they're not supposed to. It's the whole point of the puzzle. ¿Por qué no me entiendes? Deep breaths, Maya. Take big, deep breaths. <gasps> Since Sundiata couldn't walk yet, he couldn't hunt. So his mother gathered leaves for them. Then Sasoma and Don Curry even took that away from them. Where is the Lion King now? <laughs> Then all of a sudden, nobody does that to my mom. What will you do? Will you come over here and bite me on my knees, little Lion King? <laughs> <laughs> Mother, today I'm going to walk. May I, sir? <gasps> so you can stand. Alert the media. Oh, yeah. And I'm starting to feel real good now. That, that, that could not have been real, Ian. Could it, Mother? Oh, yes. You better believe it, bro. Listen, Sanjata. I'm sure we can work something out here. That doesn't solve anything, you know. Boo! That's my boy! <laughs> and his laughter shook the whole forest. He knew that his adventures were only beginning. <laughs> the Lion King had finally awakened. Wow! And it looks like there's a sequel. Oh, no! I have to go find Maggie. Only one thin wall separated them, and every night he would read her the poetry he'd written. First I take out garbage, now I have to write poetry? Hello, love story! All right, all right. Uh, let's see. Cherry blossoms are pink, mandarins are orange. When I see you, I can't think... Uh, I can't think of anything to rhyme with orange. Mm, it's not Shakespeare, but it'll do. It went on like that for nearly a year. Until one day... I am General Sun Fei Hu, and I demand that you surrender this temple to my army and me at once. Cherry blossoms are red, the yellow river's yellow. If I could only have you, Help! I'd be Stop a... the alarm! You. What's wrong, Mrs. Uh, 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 Ying Ying? I'd be what? Finish the poem. Not now, Ying Ying. Oh my, it's a temple. General Sun has surrounded it. He's surrounded us. He's threatening to destroy the temple unless we surrender. Hmm, that is a problem. Thank you, oh honored scholar, for that incredible bit of reasoning. You're welcome. Listen, if anyone, and I mean anyone, might be able to use their brain to get us out of this pickle, I might let him take Ying Ying out for a... Dian Xing or something. Really? Yay! Ying Ying was thrilled at this awesome opportunity for Chang to win her. Plus, she loved Dian Xing. It's all bite-size. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Do you mean me? Hello? All right, all right. Actually, I think I have an idea. Maggie! Maggie! Maggie, snap out of it! We're supposed to meet Mr. Santos now. But 
went, but I never even got to hear what Chang's great idea was or, or the end of his poem that rhymes with yellow. Okay. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Don't worry, Maya. I'm pretty sure you can make some new friends. Thanks. Hola. Hey, guys. This was great, wasn't it? No say, Poppy. I spent the whole time in the gift shop trying to find something to bribe my friends into liking me again. Trouble, huh? You could say that. Maya, you know this will all be fine. No, Poppy. I so blew it this time. My friends were really counting on me to get those tickets. It was just a movie, Maya. You can see it tomorrow. No, Poppy. Opening day at Return of the Space Nebula Elf Friends is a once-in-a-lifetime cinematic event. Maybe, Maya, but your friends will get over it. Trust your Poppy. I think they care about you more than any cinematic event, no matter how big. I I'm sorry, but I couldn't help overhearing. Do you need tickets for Return of the Space Nebula Elf Prince? Because I got the time wrong, and I can't use them, and you look so sad. You can have them. I'll take them! Thanks! Thank you so much! You're very welcome. I'm safe! Guys! Guys! Oh, there you are, Maya. Guess what? This museum is actually really, really cool! It's cool? Uh, but look! Haven't you seen any of it? No, I've been in the gift shop. Shopping? You've got to be kidding! Ancient China is the most romantic place ever! Yeah, and you have to hear these thousand-year-old African legends. They've got heroes and warriors and villains. It's a mega adventure. Wow, that does sound cool. Oh, I can't believe I missed everything. Hey, but guess what? I just got four tickets to the movie. It starts in 15 minutes. How about we all go see it and come back to the museum again next weekend? Sure. Great! Cool. Oh, yeah! Terrific! We could start with the ancient Maya. Ancient Maya? Sure, there's an ancient Maya. And then we can go to the Egyptian wing. Oh, <laughs> oh and we can all check out the exhibit on Rome. So, Theo got a mega adventure, Maggie got romance, and I got my friends back. Oh, <laughs> and Miguel got a souvenir. Seeing is believing, and you're seeing Maya and Miguel on PBS Kids Go. SOS! Alright! No schools! No. Cyber Squad, move out! Okay, let's go. Go! Every Sunday, it's pasta for dinner. Spaghetti, ravioli, whatever. But the sauce never changes. It's my grandma's recipe. My dad taught it to me. He says, Grandma better watch out, because I make a mean marinara sauce. PBS Kids, go! You'll find a minor quiz. You'll see quite a few. It makes good sense after what, where, and who. A squiggle and a dot make you think a lot. What is it? Take a guess. Hold on, find out here on PBS. PBS Kids, go! Word Girl! Deep in space, a chunk of space rock hurtling towards Earth at breakneck speed. Meanwhile... <laughs> a chunk of space rock! Falling from the sky! We're doomed! Oh, man. School day. Is there any hope? Is the city doomed? Oh no, it's coming right at us! Sorry. Who will save the city from this big hunk of space rock? Actually, it's called a meteorite, and I've got it. Word up! It's Word Girl! And Captain Huggy Face! I know, I don't like saying it either. She named you. Talk to her. One fine day, I look up to see a meteorite headed straight for me. If I weren't tangled, I'd run and hide. Oh, okay. Monkey ride! Hi, Word Girl. Heck of a catch there. Thanks. I'm Scoops, roving reporter for the Daily Rag. Mind if I ask you a couple uh, of questions? Uh, shoot. Great. First, how's it going? Uh, uh, not bad. Hey, can we speed this up? This baby's getting a bit cumbersome. Right. What? Cumbersome. Cumber cuke? No, that's a cucumber. Cumbersome means bulky, heavy, hard to handle. I like that camera around your neck. Is that comfortable? Are you kidding? This pick clicker's breaking my back. Oh, cumbersome. Right, and Captain Huggy Face over there, he doesn't have super strength, so Violet is a little cumbersome. Uh, <laughs> Your fuzz tickles. 
Well, I might as well get rid of this thing. Uh, my work here is done. Word up! Hmm. Cumbersome. Becky, did you see that? Becky? Did I see what? Word girl! Oh, no, I was, um, tying my shoe. Come on, we're gonna be late for our art lesson. Who are you winking at? And so the city is saved from a cumbersome meteorite. All thanks to Word Girl. <laughs> oh, and Captain Huggy Face. Tune in next time to the amazing colossal adventures of Word Girl!